you know, there's so many misnomers for the specimens in museums, right? Mm -hmm. Most people think that everything they're looking at is 100% dinosaur, you know, it's, mm -hmm. they dug and then they found that, you know, like you were saying, most people don't really know, you know, that you usually just find tiny fragments and then you have to, right. out, you have to put that together. And I know, you know, for a lot of the specimens that set record breaking prices, like, t-rexes that will sell an auction to museums or celebrities or whoever um you know they're combinations of multiple specimens right so right. how how much of what you see in museums do you think is real and are oftentimes a lot of the dinosaurs on display just straight up casts it would depend on the museum but a lot of the times you are looking at a partial skeleton so you're looking at uh, real elements of the skeleton, real dinosaur bone, which are then uh, completed with uh, the cast. So we would call that a composite. It's a composite of real and uh, plaster or polymer uh, resin uh, molds. And one example would be, this is a triceratops horn. So this is the nose horn. This is like the front, the front uh, of the of the, uh, the face, right? The nose horn, the beak would be right here. You keep going along back here. You have the eye, you know, and the brow horns. So this is a real triceratops horn. The tip has some completed uh, clay or some completed. We would call this more of a a paleo bond, uh, a paleo bond uh, putty. It's like a resin putty. So it's it's two elements. It's it's a mixture of two putties. You roll them up, you mold it, and then they harden. They they rock harden, and uh, that's what you do to complete other sides. So I mean, the most of this is complete, but let's say right. you know the tip is right. I the, mean, that's one percent of it, right? Right. And so, and then this would need to have some sort of restoration if we don't find more at the site. So this is a femur. This is the end of a femur of a theropod. So that would be a a. Uh, they're typically the, those are the the meat eating the predatory dinosaurs like raptors and t-rexes or theropods uh, some were omnivores too like oviraptors could have been omnivores uh, so this could either belong to a juvenile t-rex or oh. a uh anzu will wily eye which is a um it's kind of like an oviraptor uh, looking thing. I think it was in, when it was first discovered, it was deemed the hell chicken. So it's like this mass oh, hell chicken. That's a bird like dinosaur. It would have been really kind of scary to encounter, but this is like the femur. So for instance, this is real. The rest of it would be, you know, a completed composite. So to kind of answer the, your question is that in museums, a lot of the time, some of the times you do come across the real uh, di specimens. Uh, you do come across uh, fairly completed, and we're talking eighty percent complete. And which is great. Which is great. Yeah, that's and that's and that's fabulous for selling. So the so the the monetary side of it is that uh, you you could get more for a more completed specimen. Of course. Sure.